you stone the father of the Tongo blast. Overwhelmingly Hispanic and all male, you stone formed inside of Texas state prisons during the early 1990s. Originally, say members, it was an offshooter cousin of the Texas Syndicate. But the homeboy soon grew tired of being taken advantage of by the established gang to do much of his dirty work. So in the same way that MS-13 formed in Los Angeles to protect its people from other predatory groups, so you stone was created to shield inmates from other prison gangs in Texas. In fact, many older members claim the word Tongo is an acronym standing for Together Against Negative Gang Organizations. However, since the 1970s, the most common interpretation of Tongo has been hometown clique or crew. Although U Stone broke away from the established prison gangs first, it was soon followed by the other three chapters of the Tongo Blast. The four original chapters of the Blast are Houston, called U Stone, Austin, called ATX, Dallas, known as D Town, and Fort Worth, called Foros. These independent groups unite to form the Four Horsemen. In and out of prison, they tend to stick together. Other cities and regions, including El Paso, San Antonio, Corpus, the Rio Grande Valley, and West Texas, all have their own separate Tongo gangs, but do not always get along or align with the Four Horsemen. Houston is by far the largest of them all. Exact numbers are hard to come by or calculate, while police, county jail, and state prison authorities all say the Tongo Blast is the largest clique in Texas. They will not even attempt to estimate the number of men that belong. Several former members say you stone numbers are in the thousands, and when you put all four horsemen together, you're into five digits easily. There's so little structure and so few rules that they're drawing a very large number of people quickly. The older prison gangs are far more selective about whom they let in, and the initiations are lengthy and complex. Typically, recruits are forced to commit some violent or serious crimes so that members can dangle it over their head if they attempt to leave or betray the prison gang. Instead, Tongo Blast issues their man a quick heart check and it's over. Indeed, the Tongo Blast gangs, you stone in particular though, are in a class all by themselves in something totally new. They operate as both a street gang and a prison gang, and at the same time, in some ways, they're neither. Stone is kind of in between both. They're a different concept, something everybody's having to get used to and deal with because their numbers are so large. Most street gangs are territorial and dominate certain blocks and neighborhoods, not U Stone. The members joined up while incarcerated and then have later returned home, be that the Heights, Baytown, Pasadena, or all the way down to Galveston. They do not sport colors or bananas like street gangs but do have signifying tattoos, including the Astros logo, local area codes such as 713 and 281, and the Roman numerals 16, 20, and 2, which correspond to the letters PTB and stand for Puto Tango Blast. Unlike traditional prison gangs, Houston is decentralized with no written constitution or set of rules. All members are supposedly equal, and all you need to apply is to be in the prison with them. Whereas traditional prison gangs have clear-cut systems of seniority and rank, Tongo Blast does not. Members elect speakers for each wing of the unit within the prison system. The speakers, or chair, then meet with the leaders of other groups when required and bring the group's consensus opinion to the table. It's like the only and purest form of democracy inside of a Texas prison. When a man joins one of the established prison gangs, he must drop any and all prior gang affiliations but not when he joins Houston. Upon release from prison, members can choose to stay active in Houston, or they may return to their street gang or just plain drop gang banging altogether. In traditional prison gangs, death is the only way to leave. If you listen to many of the guys who've been released from prison and joined the gang, you tend to think Houston is far more like a college fraternity. They talk mostly about brotherhood and looking out for one another watching football games together and hanging out with their women and kids. After all, unlike other prison gangs, many members of the Tongo Blast are not hardened lifelong criminals, and they simply joined with their homeboys from their city while incarcerated. Some continue, some don't. It's just a group of people in the same city or in the suburbs that get together and go to picnics and barbecues, says a former member who not want his real name used. 
Me and my homeboys, we try to help each other out, try to get jobs for one another. We're like a second family. In some instances, he says, you stone even creates peace between street gang members who are at war with each other before they united under the Tongo Blast. I know this dude who I shot at when we were on the street in a different gang, he says. But when we both joined you stone, now we laugh about it. He tells all the homeboys that this crazy dude shot at me one time, and now we're friends. We just all laugh about it because it's how we grew up. But now to all you Stone and Tongo Blast members choose a crime-free life after getting out of prison. Over the past several years, Houston, Dallas, Austin, and Fort Worth police have arrested members from everything from drug dealing to kidnapping to murder. Members have been accused of threatening police officers and waging a bloody all-out turf war with members of the TS over drug issues and respect that are spilling over from the prisons to the streets. Many members have been hit with federal indictments and state indictments. And they continue to be the number one fast-growing thing.